We are seeing one additional name of Puja Guru Dev every day. I'll chant some of the previous names and then add one more. You can also repeat these names. They're very simple to repeat. Om Jagat Sakshi Namaha. Om Jagat Sakshi Namaha. Om Janapriya Namaha. Om Janapriya Namaha. Om Jitendriya Namaha. Om Jite. Jiva Brahmaikya Vidhe Namaha Om Jiva Brahmaikya Vidhe Namaha Om Jivan Muktaya Namaha Om Jivan Muktaya Namaha Om Jirna Mandiro Dharakaya Namaha Om Jirna Mandiro Om Tapo Vanashishya Yanamaha Om Tapo Vanashishya Yanamaha Om Tapasvine Namaha Om Tapasvine Namaha Om Tapasvine Namaha Om Tapasvine Namaha Tapasvine Namaha Tapasvi was called. Guru Dev was a great Tapasvi. Tapa in Sanskrit comes from a small little root tap. Tap means to burn. The literal meaning of tap is to burn. From that tap, tap uh, dhatu, this tapas word has come. And one who does tapas is a tapasvi. And tapasvi in fourth case is tapasvine. That's how Tapasvine Namaha. Salutations to that Tapasvi. So, what he burnt, what burning is there? Burning here means, one who is doing Tapas, he is going through hardship. You know, nobody likes hardship. So, whatever hardship we go through, that burns us. I mean, it, is, it is painful. That is the idea. Hardship is painful. Nobody likes. But do you know, any evolution and progress comes by hardship only. Nothing comes just like just like that. Lot of effort has to be put. Jamena is idhyanti karyani namanurathai, he says in Sanskrit. Only by great effort that anything can be achieved in this world. You can't just sit by like that and uh, with your mouth open and hope that things will happen. Nothing will happen. You see? So any hardship that the jiva is going through, exerting and facing hardship, that is called as tapas. Now, now let me qualify that with a, one little warning. People go through hardship to do stupidness too. Eh? So any hardship that the person goes through on the spiritual part, then only they call us tapas. Yes. If people go through hardship for all sorts of other things. That is not called tapas. Like, like he climbs Mount Everest. For what reason? So his name will get on that list of all the people that have climbed Everest. So, so, so where is the spiritual path there now? There is no spiritual path. There is the path of snow and ice only. To go up to Mount Everest. It's not spirituality. That same time and great effort which you exerted there could have been used for something spiritual. No, I'm not saying stop climbing mountain and all that kind of thing. We are not talking like that. Eh? It depends on the motive for which the person was climbing. Yeah. If it is for name and fame, then it is useless. Now, see one more thing. You have to be so careful about this. The first thing. On this, what we call so-called spiritual or religious path, there also, people do things for name and fame. Like one man will memorize the whole Bhagavad Gita. Oh, 
whole Ramayana, you memorize that by heart. Any verse you ask, you'll be able to tell. That also, why? So that everybody say, Are wa, dekhi, dekho usko, see, pura Gita kantastha hai. Whole Gita and his right in his throat, you only have to tell any word. And when he hear it, he wow, wow, wow. He heart. So, but if you ask him, so what is the meaning of that? Pashyan, Shrinvan, Sprishan, Jigran, Ashnan, Gachan, Swapan, Swasan, Pralapan, Visrijan, Grihnan, Unmishan, Nimishan, Napi. Tell the meaning now. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> he know it by heart. Because with that you get name and just recently only somebody was telling me I joke like that you know this man he gone some way and the same thing he talking telling all the verses and all that real good eh? he know it by heart and he telling so when he finished tell all the verse by heart now one man asked him a question so with some difficulty he answered the question with great difficulty right he answered the question then he tell his friend he say boy let me go from here before they ask any more question eh? <laughs> And he take up from there. So, if on the spiritual path also, if we do something like that for name and fame, then that thing is not call us, tap us. You see, it has to be like that. It is done for spiritual advancement on the spiritual path, not for name and fame and, and all the other things. When we go through hardship like that, that thing is called as tapas. Okay. So, our Puja Gurudev is called as Tapasvi. And salutations to that Tapasvi who spent his life doing so much of Tapas you wouldn't believe. If you, there's a little book which is called My Trek Through Uttarkhand. If you read that, a tiny little book like this, then you will see how, with great difficulty, how he walked through that Himalayan region. At one time, one of his legs became numb numb and still he went on walking because he was following his guru and the guru, whatever the guru says he has to do that thing great tapas he went through huh? and nowadays people are not prepared to do any tapas and thing. all that those days gone people want everything easy See, that's why I tell you, long ago, people have to sit on the floor in the temple, right? Nobody wants to sit on the floor. In those temples, people have to sit on the floor, they have the, they have the least attendance. <laughs> people want then, no tapas and no hardship. Everybody want to sit down and night. Then, everybody got always trouble, boy, boy, kangal. Boy, when you put AC in that temple, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Ask you all the time when he put in AC in that room, and that place so warm, man. So he want to feel no warm, no nothing. He, he want to go there and sit down nice and cool. He body cool by head, hot, yeah. <laughs> Not tapas and thing for you. All right, now tapas. Guru Dev is called. We have to do tapas on the spiritual path. Eh? That person will excel. Last night we finished chapter 4. Karma Sanyasa Yoga. Nama. Uh, Jnana. Karma Sanyasa Yoga Nama. That, that we saw in the Shagunas Mandir last night. Today we have to start chapter 5. It starts with a question by Arjuna. Let us see the question. That will bring introduction to the whole topic. See. Arjuna Uvacha Shri Krishna Sharanam Mama Shri Krishna Sharanam Mama Shri Krishna Sharanam Mama Shri Krishna Sharanam Mama Shri Krishna, Shri Krishna, Shri 
वृंदावन बिहारी लाल की जय अर्जुन उवाच अर्जुन उवाच अर्जुन नेम इज अर्जुन नेम कम्स फ्रॉम अ स्मॉल संस्कृत रूट रूट विच इज रुच रुच मीन्स स्ट्रेट फॉरवर्ड रुच अर्जुन नेम मीन्स स्ट्रेट फॉरवर्ड वेरी स्ट्रेट फॉरवर्ड इन इज डीलिंग यू नो सम सम पीपल वेरी तेरहा तेरहा इन देर डीलिंग तेरहा मीन तेरही अभी हो तेरही वो लॉन्ग टाइम पेरेंट्स कॉलेज तेरही तेरी मीन यू क्रिकेट तेरी बट देर से प्रोनाउंस आर लेल बी डिफरेंट देर तेरही तेरही प्रॉपर वर्ड तेरही तेरही मीन्स लिल क्रिकेट ये स्ट्रेट बट द ऑपोजिट ऑफ दैट इज स्ट्रेट फॉर स्ट्रेट इन डीलिंग यू आस्क द टेल दर आंसर राइट अवे not to, to veil the answer in some kind of um, ambiguity and all that kind of thing you know straight so arjuna name is arjuna uvacha he said prabhu sanyasam karmanam krishna punar yogam cha shamsasi shamsasi means to praise last time i was telling you this word na prashamsa prasham here yeah, shamsasi same word that has a upasarga so bhagwan praises pra- shamsasi what he praises he praises sanyasam karmana the renunciation of actions and then punar yogam then at the same time he praises karma yoga so renunciation of action and karma yoga but karma yoga you have to do karma and but he is praising renunciation of action where he did this is arjuna let me tell you something arjuna is good at finding out this uh, what you call anything that seems ambiguous eh so he asked, this happens in third way in the third chapter in verse number 30 mai sarvani karmani sanyasya adhyatma cheta sade mai san mai sarvani karmani all karmas sanyasya adhyatma cheta sa in this verse there if you go there that time bhagwan you renounce all actions in me so it is why say sanyasam karmana you are telling to renounce all actions you are praising that renunciation of all actions it is good and at the same time punar yogam then then you are telling do karma yoga engage in karma engage in action like that but remember karma yoga means engaging in action dedicated to the benefit of humanity eh huh? so not this thing confused arjuna what renunciation of action and karma yoga where karma yoga requires the doing of actions so he said yat shreya ha etayoho ekam which is best among the two is it renunciation of all actions or karma yoga now no one thing is happening in arjuna's mind there eh? what is happening arjuna's in arjuna's mind the renunciation of action means i stop doing every see like i have no job i don't uh, go to socialize anywhere i go and sit down in some cave or some place and i do tapas only i don't do any anything in the society anymore i renounce all thing i become a sadhu sanyasi parivrajika sanyasi go walk from here to there and only meditate and beg for food 
he thinks that Bhagavan means that thing when he says Mai Sarvani Karmani Sanyasya Thyatma Chetasa in that line so Bhagavan has to clarify this thing now then may Bruhi Sunishtam tell me which is better between the two that type of sannyasi life renunciate life or staying and doing action staying and working in the world for humanity so Bhagavan replied Shri Bhagavan Uvacha Lord is going to clarify about sannyas because in, in our tradition there is something called sannyas na? Take, renouncing, renouncing the whole world sannyas that word comes because Bhagavan himself used the word there Shri Bhagavan Uvacha Shri Krishna Sharanam Mama Shri Krishna Sharanam Mama Shri Krishna Sharanam Mama Shri Krishna Sharanam Mama Sanyasa Karma Yoga Asha Sanyasa karma yoga scha nishreya sa karavu bhau Tayostu karma sanyasat karma yoga vishishyate He says Bhagavan is trying to clarify and Arjuna's question is along these lines now In the world 
which along which lines and that's what i'll tell you first in the world you know there are people who stay and they do active duty in the world and then there are people you may not see much here in trinidad but if you go to india you will see hundreds of thousands of sannyasis people who have left home they'll walk in hordes if you go to the kumbha mela see here people are afraid to do that right because the st first thing you start thinking where i'll get food <laughs> in western countries that people are afraid to do that kind of thing isn't it right now you see how scared you are you wouldn't believe how scared all of you will be if you have to for instance leave home without money i challenge you then you go see how scared you are tomorrow tomorrow is monday right tomorrow monday yeah. tomorrow in the morning come out with your normal clothes and your bag and everything but don't come with no money <laughs> and come out on the road right and find your way to work where you just go to work no car hunting eh means no your own car you just come out on the road with no money then you go see how hard that thing is and see the kind of courage them have they you leave home and you walk out and you don't know where you will get food and nothing then you go know how that life so that is called a, a renunciate life right now please remember arjuna wants right now to renounce everything he want to run away from there right he don't want to fight he don't want to stay in this uh, and perform his job he, he's a commander in chief of the army and all. he want to do no job and thing he want to go he think that easy that he'll be able to go and he'll get food and this and that so when bhagwan mentioned the word sanyas in third chapter mai sarvani karmani sanyas sanyas tha adhyatma chetasa means you renounce sanyas that word comes there sanyasya adhyatma chetasa sanyasya means you renounce all karmas in me and you adhyatma chetasa let your mind meditate concentrate on the atma now he like that kind of thing he want to stay and I mean that's appealing to him now he want to stay and fight and thing he want to renounce everything and only meditate on bhagwan so that's why he asking this question so there are these two parts one stays in society and does active duty and the other one he renounces everything and goes away which is a very see buddha had done that from buddha time buddha renounced palace and everything kingship kingdom everything and went away so that if buddha had done it that means that i was part of the tradition things was existing at that time here you don't see it so often here if anybody run away they, they run away like arjuna only like a coward coward means they leave their family and they run away because they're afraid some people do that also eh i know some people they when family come out he gets scared oh god how to take care of them he gets scared and he run away from home and out of selfishness others do you know they have their family there they leave and they run away and they go and get married somewhere else we're talking about that can be done only when the spiritual call is very intense then somebody can leave but anyway these are the two traditions right the true two things that one can do so bhagwan is now trying to clarify between these two because arjuna's question is that you you seem to be praising that one and you're praising this one also so tell me eta yoho ekam bruhi sunishchitam tell me one of them decidedly between the two so bhagwan says no sanyasah karma yogascha nishreyasa karau ubau both of them the path of renunciation and karma yoga both of them will bring the result that we are looking for both will bring the result but my dear arjuna you not ready for the path of renunciation because you are a warrior and if you go and sit down in a cave there right and you go to try to meditate and then in the opposite cave there you see one person beating up a next one 
because you will see that that's what has gone in the world that one person beating up a next one your swabhav the kshatriya swabhav your warrior when you see this man beating up this man you, you will see this man taking advantage of this man then your blood will boil and when your blood boil anybody blood who boil in is that boiling you could meditate it's there are still kshatriyas like that in india today also eh? a real kshatriya if he sees anybody taking advantage of anybody else that man who taking advantage he in from some trouble you know he that fellow will get justice on the spot you know you have hot doubles on the spot <laughs> you know court and thing there you know he'll get justice on the on the spot so the kshatriyas in the society they were charged with that responsibility eh? to protect the weak that is a, that is their duty so arjuna by nature is like that but anyway bhagwan these two things the path of renunciation sanyas and the path of karma yoga stay and do active duty both will bring the result that we are looking for tayoho to however to means however between the two tayoho to karma sanyasat karma yoga vishishyate the renunciation is lesser and karma yoga is better because uh, that's arjuna's question tell me between the two which one better bhagavan said karma yoga is better and this morning also we had come across this thing in our sunday morning satsang when bhagavan says that something is better like for example which is better drinking milk three times a day or eating three balanced meals three times a day which is better no eating three balanced meals three times a day that is better na you go drink milk whole day at the end of the day you start going moo right so now we say that we are asking that question because i am asking you which is a general audience now you ask the same question for a baby it changes now or not which is better milk isn't it you see so now something can be better depending on who you are talking about isn't it that is the idea in bhagavad gita there also is you some it, i think will not be absolutely better it all depends on who you are talking if you are talking about a baby well milk three times a day that better if you are talking about an adult well milk three times a day that not better that bitter <laughs> that won't sit so well with him isn't it he'll become bitter in the very same way here now bhagwan has these two things sanyas the path of renunciation and karma yoga stay and do active duty which one is better no that is the question arjuna is putting so bhagwan is saying karma yoga is better stay and do your active duty why because that is more applicable for that will sit better with the 99% of the people so if something will sit better with the 99% of the people but well, that that is better it doesn't mean that it's absolutely better suppose a, a very elevated uh, sadhaka who is very advanced on the path karma yoga is not better for him the path for him will be sanyas renunciation you see so from that point of view bhagwan says it's better because it is better for most people neya saniti sanya no some people will ask so you mean to say i am engaged in active duty you know I'm doing karma yoga. I'm there, going to work every day, and I'm dedicating my actions for the benefit of humanity and all that kind of thing. So there's no chance of me uh, uh, taking sannyas, renouncing. Bhagwan said that yes, even there in your active duty, there is uh, what we call as renunciation also. And see, so very nice presentation of sannyas by Bhagwan. Eh? Now from the next verse, so, sannyas doesn't mean you don't have to physically leave all things. 
physically go away and all that. He says, Nyaya, understand. Yeah, I mean, no, understand. It should be known. What? San nitya sanyasi yona dveshti na kanshati. That the person who doesn't have likes and dislikes and who doesn't have cravings all the time, he is a nitya sanyasi. He is a permanent sanyasi. It means to say, I can very well stay where I am in my active duty, do whatever you are doing on a daily basis, and have no, see the two words, dveshti and kanshati. Dveshti means hate, dislike. So I have no like, uh, dislike, but if you don't have any dislike, that means you don't have any like also. You can't just have one, eh? Wherever there is likes, there will also be dislikes. And wherever there is dislike, there will be like. You just think about it. See, if I say, I dislike this type of folder. I dislike this type of folder. That means to say what? There is another type of folder which I like. Isn't it? Or if I say, I like only this type of folder. That means the other type of folder I dislike. You can't have one without the other. That is, a, that is the idea. You can't have hot without cold. So here also, he said, Bhagavan said, the person who has no dvesh, dvesh means dislike, dveshti, raga dvesh we say, na? that person is nitya sanyasi, and the person who has kanksha, no kanksha, kanksha, a kanksha, that means what? All the time craving, longing, you know, desiring, one this, one this, one this. Who is devoid of these two things? That person is a nitya sannyasi. This is a permanent sannyasi. So in other words, now I don't have to leave and go away somewhere, uh, some place, and stay in some ashram and wear orange clothes and this and that, and then to become sannyasi. It means I go to work every day doing what I am doing, but be free from dveshti and kangshati. Yo na dveshti na kangshati is a nitya sannyasi. This is a very nice phrase. Yeah, so you have to remember. Yo. Na dveshti, na kangshati, sa nitya sanyasi. That is a Sanskrit uh, sentence it will be. He who doesn't have any likes and dislikes or doesn't have any craving and longing, that person is a permanent sanyasi. So you don't have to change your clothes to be a sanyasi. You have to change your mind. <laughs> but this is very hard, your clothes easy to change. Is the mind were that hard to to change, isn't it? Clothes easy to change. So, he's giving a, a very nice uh, definition of sannyas here for, that everybody could practice. Nirdvando hi mahabaho sukham mandat pramuchyate that if you become free from the pairs of opposite which we were just talking about, likes and dislikes, that person who becomes free from the pairs of opposite, he is a sannyasi. And Sukhamandat Pramuchate, very easily he becomes free from all bondage. Sankhya Yoga Pritak Balaha Pravadanti Napanditaha Balaha Pravadanti Children. Bhagavan says, Children. They say that the path of renunciation and the path of Karma Yoga, they are different. Only children say that. The, both the paths will bring the same. Result. When he said children, means ignorant people. Because children are ignorant. Children don't know anything. They're ignorant. Like for example, you know where you got your land, how you got your land, where, who signed the deed, which lawyer. What your child knows about all of this? Bechara to anjane. He's ignorant. He doesn't No. And how you took a loan and paid the mortgage and this and that. He know anything about it? He only know, give him money to go to school. He you know. So children are ignorant. So balaha would, means ignorant people. Means balaha is used metaphorically, figuratively, to mean ignorant people. They say that the path of renunciation and the path of karma yoga, they are different. It means to say, while doing your karma yoga, you can be a renunciate. That is the idea. While you're doing your active duty, you can be a renunciate. Huh? 
Pandita, the wise people don't say that they are different. Ekam apyastita samyak uvayor vindate phalam. That one who settles himself in any one of them. If you stay in active duty and practice, na dveshti na kangshati. Nirdvandva, free from the pay of, pays of opposite. If you stay in your active duty and do that, or you renounce and you go and sit in meditation in some ashram and some cave somewhere, both will re lead you to the same goal. Ekam api asthita, settling yourself in one of them. Ekam ek asthita samyak ubayoho vindate phalam. You will get the result of both. It both will lead to the same thing. Yet sankhya prapyate sthanam tad yoga rapi gamyate. Whatever is achieved through the path of renunciation and, and, and all that, it's the same thing. Tad sthanam yoga hi api gamyate. The karma yoga will lead you also to the same path. So don't, there's one more thing which is here. I'll tell you. Many people feel that always their path is better. Whichever path I'm following, that is better than the other man. Whichever religion I'm following, that is better than the other man. People always feel these things. And if I'm in Gyan Mark, my Gyan Mark is better than the fellow who is following Bhakti Mark. If I'm in Bhakti Mark, I mean, these Gyanis and all, they are dry, you know, they need us. Dry thing they talk only. We should come and have Bhakti Ras, nectar of Bhakti. So they feel they are on the on the right path. Hmm? And karma yogis, they say, man, we are the ones who are driving the society. We do all the action. These bhaktas, they only go there, ching, 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 majira and all. They, I don't know what they will be doing. <laughs> and these gyanis, sit down there reading Gita. Yartankya prapetes nithanam yoga rapi gamyate ekam sankyam cha yogam cha pashyati sa pashyati. These gyanis only sit there reading Gita and all. So the karma yogis feel we are the ones who are doing the real action, you know, we are the movers of society. So we are the best. What Bhagwan is meaning to say in all of this? It will have nobody best. Wherever you are, what matters is how you do that thing. So that, and last night I also I was telling people who are bhaktas, if you are there in bhakti mark and you are singing bhajan, and then when you don't sing the bhajan, you ask somebody, how are song they? Oh, but, but, but you are really not in Bhakti Mark. You is a show. You in show business, isn't it? You in show business because you're you're depending on the other fellas' um, little praise there. You know, that's what show business is about. So whichever part you are, that part is best. But you have to make sure that you follow that thing one hundred percent. Yeah, that's why Guru Dev said, you know, we have to make. The Christian are better Christian, the Muslim are better Muslim, and the Hindu are better Hindu. Not are one part better than the other part. Just people stay there, they don't do anything, and they blame the part, they don't blame themselves. He is one lazy bum, tamasic like anything, he's not doing anything. Huh? Then somebody Tell him, why come there? So he leave this place and he gone there. When he gone there now, means he, he didn't explore anything here. He gone there. When he gone there, now somehow the, 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 the um, laziness abate just for a little while and he start doing something there. And when he start doing something, well, he drive out the laziness, right? But he blaming the... See, when I was over there, man, that part... Nothing happening there. When I come here, I get blessed. I get blessed. It, are, look here, your own laziness which are keeping you from doing from doing anything. They are called tamas. Tamas. So no, stay where you are and you apply yourself. That is the idea. So in this whole thing, we're going to tell you, no, 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 not this one is better or this one is better. You just stay where you are and do the thing better. That is all. Do it right. Yeah. Follow the path of karma yoga properly. Follow the path of sannyas properly. Don't, see, leave this one and go there. But your mind is? Yeah. I wonder what I'll leave behind. If I stay, what would happen? You go on there now, your mind? 
here. And do you know, let me tell you something. When people jump from here and go there, in order to justify the jump, they have to say everything bad about here. In order to justify the jump, the shift. He has to go on condemning and go on bad talking. Otherwise, in his mind, he will not be satisfied that I made the right move. He has to condemn the other one to satisfy his mind, to console his mind. I made the right move. An amazing thing. So, Lord is in You stay. Ekam sankyam cha yogam cha ya pashyati sa pashyati. This is a most popular phrase in Shastra. Bhagavan Shankaracharya takes this phrase and puts it in Bhajago Vindam. Yep, he who could, he who sees, sees. Let me tell you that. Ya pashyati sa pashyati. He who sees, sees. He who can see? In Trinidad language. Who can see, can see. Who could see, could see. What do you make of that? It means to say, like this. The person who understands this, which is being taught here, what? The Sankhya Yoga means the path of renunciation and Jnana, Marga and all of this. And the path of Karma Yoga, they are one and same because they lead to the same result. The one who can see that, he really sees. The one who cannot see that, he cannot see at all. Huh? Bhagavan continues. Shri Krishna Sharanam Mama Shri Krishna Sharanam Mama Shri Krishna Sharanam Mama Shri Krishna Sharanam Mama Sanyasas to Mahabaho Shri Krishna 
ಸನ್ಯಾಸಸ್ತು ಮಹಾಬಾಹೋ ದುಃಖಮಾಪ್ತು ಅಯೋಗತಃ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಮೀಕ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ನೋದ ಕನೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ದೀಸ್ ಟೂ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ನಾವು ಎಸ್ ದಿ ಪಾರ್ ಪಿನಾನ್ಸಿಯೇಷನ್ ಜ್ಞಾನ್ ಮಾರ್ಗ್ ಮೆಡಿಟೇಷನ್ ಇನ್ ಆಲ್ ದಟ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಗಾನ್ ಸಿಪ್ ದೇ ಓಂ 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 ಲೆವಿಟೇಷನ್ ಅಂತ ಹಿಂಗೆ ಚಾರ್ ಓಂ 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 ಆಫ್ತಾ ಇಲ್ಲ ವೈಲ್ ಯು ಎಲ್ಲ ದಟ್ ಇ ಲೆವಿಟೇಟಿಂಗ್ ಒನ್ ಯೋಗಿ ಆಸ್ಕಿನ ನದ ಯೋಗಿ ಇ ಸೇ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಯು ರೆಡ್ ಮೈ ಲೇಟೆಸ್ಟ್ ಬುಕ್ ಆನ್ ಲೆವಿಟೇಷನ್ ಇ ಸೇ ಇ ಎಮ್ ಐ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಮೇ ಅಪ್ ಹೋಲ್ ನೈಟ್ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ನೈಟ್ ಸೊ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಮೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಎ ಕನೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪಾತ್ ಆಫ್ ಫಿನಾನ್ಸಿಯೇಷನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪಾತ್ ಆಫ್ ಕರ್ಮ ಯೋಗ ಒನ್ ಮೋರ್ ಕನೆಕ್ಷನ್ ವೆರಿ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಕನೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಇ ಸೇಸ್ ನಾವು ಇ ಸೇ ಸನ್ಯಾಸ ಅಸ್ತು ಸನ್ಯಾಸ ಟು ದಿಸ್ ಪಾತ್ ಆಫ್ ಫಿನಾನ್ಸಿಯೇಷನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಮೆಡಿಟೇಷನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ ದಟ್ ಯು ನೋ ಲೀವ್ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಗಾನ್ ಸಿಟ್ ಡೌನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಮೆಡಿಟೇಟ್ ಇ ಸೇ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದುಃಖ ಮಾಪ್ತು ವೆರಿ ಡಿಫಿಕಲ್ಟ್ ಟು ಅಚೀವ್ ಏನೋ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟ್ಲಿ ಫಾರ್ ಅರ್ಜುನ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಡಿಫಿಕಲ್ಟ್ ಪಾತ್ ಫಾರ್ ಹೂ ಅಯೋಗತಃ ಒನ್ ಹೂ ಹಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಡೌನ್ ಕರ್ಮ ಯೋಗ ಮೀನ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ನಾಟ್ ಡೌನ್ ಯೋರ್ ಡ್ಯೂಟಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಯುರ್ ಯು ಲೀವ್ ಯೋರ್ ಡ್ಯೂಟಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ರನ್ ಅವೇ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ ಕೆನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಯು ವನ್ ಗಾನ್ ಸಿಟ್ ಡೌನ್ ಇನ್ ಸಮ್ ಆಶ್ರಮ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಮೆಡಿಟೇ ಸಮ್ ಕೇವ್ ಆನ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಮೆಡಿಟೇಟ್ ದೇ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ನಾಟ್ ಡೌನ್ ಯೋರ್ ಡ್ಯೂಟಿ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ನೆವರ್ ಸಕ್ಸೀಡ್ ಓವರ್ ದೇ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದಿ ಐಡಿಯ ಆಂಟಿಲ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಡನ್ ಅವರ್ ಡ್ಯೂಟಿ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ವೈ ಬೆಸ್ಟ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಫಾರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಅ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ ಹೂ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ನೌ left to university or some such thing and he goes into an ashram well he had no duty what duty he had so when he left university he went there and got married and had two three children and all like that and then he left he will never survive wherever he is going no he will not survive he will be there then he will be thinking oh my left munna ಈ ಸಿರಂಗ್ ಇಂಡಾಜ್ ಆಶ್ರಮ ಡಿ ಫಾರ್ ಟೂ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಮುನ್ನ ಮಸಿ ಗೆ ಸೋ ಬಿಗ್ ಹೋಲ್ ಲೈಫ್ ಯುಲ್ ಬಿ ಥಿಂಕಿಂಗ್ ಹಿ ನಿಗ್ಲೆಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಇಸ್ ಡ್ಯೂಟಿ ಟು ಟೇಕ್ ಕೇರ್ ಆಫ್ ಮುನ್ನ ಯೋಸಿ ಸೊ ನಾವು ಇನ್ ದಟ್ ಆಶ್ರಮ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಹೀಸ್ ಥಿಂಕಿಂಗ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಮುನ್ನ ವಾಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಹೀ ಮೆಡಿಟೇಟ್ ದೇ ಹಿ ಮೆಡಿಟೇಟ್ ಆನ್ ಮುನ್ನ He is supposed to be meditating on Brahman. He said, Om, Am Brahmasmi, Am Brahmasmi, Munna is so big now. He said, Am Brahmasmi, Am Brahmasmi. From, from there you want to? Munna, get this big now. <laughs> What meditation he'll do? So he said, when you have, we have the person who has taken up active duty and he has to complete his duty then only he'll be able to enter this path of renunciation that is why that path is there gurudev made that very clear in his teaching those who in the young age that we that said in the vedanta course those who are under 30 and have some university degree and that one thing we don't tell unmarried also if he marry he'll bring his wife too <laughs> he can't come here all alone <laughs> we had na in our last batch a very wonderful couple they came they together you have to come you can't leave your wife and come there or wife leave the husband and come poor fella he can't boil water who cook for him <laughs> you know to boil water you any boil the water to it as bondy pot so at that age if they come into never to leave things both have to in the mission we have had many like that the couple they, they come uh, and they go back and they do really wonderful work and all it's an amazing thing but you can't just leave your duty like that so he said ayoga the one who has not established himself in karma yoga doing his duty for the benefit of the world he has not done his duty sanyasa sanyasa ha tu dukham aptum very difficult for that person to achieve anything on the path of renunciation meditation and all that type of thing yoga yukto munir brahma nachire nadi gachati but for that person who has done his duties establish himself in karma yoga and yoga yukta ha that muni who has done his all duty towards society and towards humanity and all that and then he takes such a sanyas and he meditates there nachire nadi gachati quickly goes to where brahma he goes to the to god 
have to complete our duty. So there's a connection when I have to, the completion of my duty makes me fit for the path of sannyas. Huh? And if I did not take up any duty from the beginning itself, then some people have one more question, you know, with that. But at the young age, after finishing university, you know, I go, went to the ashram and take up sannyas, this, this path of sannyas, and leave everything. So who would take care of your mother and father now? They have that question. So then there's one more thing. If that was an only sibling, and they came to the ashram, Gurudev sent them back home. If there are other siblings to take care of the mother and father, then he will allow them to stay in the ashram. If that was the only sibling, he sent them back home and say, bring your mother and father here. So they go home and bring the mother and father, the only sibling. So Gurudev used to ask now, this is your only sibling? I'm your only child? Yes. This child want to join this ashram and become a brahmachari sannyasi and all. If the child joins, remember they cannot come back home. You, mother and father, all you could take care of all yourself. Then the mother and father, yes, we could take care of yourself. You're sure you don't want the child to take care of you? You all take care of yourself? He'll ask. If they say yes, then only this child can join. If they say no, this child has to go back home, cannot join the ashram. Because that duty is still there, if there's an only child, that duty is there. Unless that duty, that those parents release that child from that duty. Otherwise, duty is there, and this was the rule. Only, say, only child, he will he'll never take, unless the parents themselves give consent hmm? so that question comes up here also because you, the, for the one who has not done his duty he will not survive on this spiritual path eh? so Bhagavan says no you have to do your duty yoga yukto vishuddha atma vishita atma jite indriyaha sarva bhuta atma bhuta atma kurvan napi na but the one who engages himself in that duty Doing his work, then Vishuddhatma, purifying his mind. Vishuddhatma, Vishuddhatma, and controlling his all uh, body and his mind. And then Jitendriya, controlling all his senses. In staying on the path of Karma Yoga, while working, doing your active da daily duty, this is what we are supposed to practice. What is that? Vishuddhatma, keep pure thoughts. Always go on purifying the mind. Instead of the harboring in the mind some malice and some all like last night we were saying, or this morning we were saying, all malice and jealousy and pride. Instead of harboring all durguna, we have all pure thoughts. Vijita Atma, uh, not Vijita Atma, Vishuddha Atma, then Vijita Atma, next word. Controlling this body, not letting, all the time body only lie down in hammock. Why don't you get up and read to to Chopai? Are kya Chopai? Kya Chopai me kya hai? Kuch nahi hai. Hamak me to aaram hai. In the hamak, nice rest is there, and you can snow also as loud as you want. Jitendriya, con master of all the senses, conquering all the senses. Sarva bhuta atma bhuta atma Sarva bhuta atma bhuta atma kurva napi na lepite. He finding that he is the self in all selves, in all beings. Discovering this, that person is not going to be tainted by any actions. Bhagavan gives his own example. Doing the karma yoga, the karma does not come back to bind him. And he gives his own example in a very difficult pair of verse, uh, pair of verses, uh, two, one pair of verse to, to chant. If you could chant these two verses in this Gita, you could chant any verse in this Gita. <laughs> Listen to this, eh? You have to twist your tongue in all different directions to say them two verses. And once you pass that test, if, if anybody say they could chant Gita, right? You just call him and tell him chant these two verses. If he chanted, I mean he could really chant. 
गीता हेर इज टू वर्स नैव किंचित करोमी युक्त मे तत्व नाट पार्स्त पश्यन श्रृण्वन स्पृशन जिघ्रन अश्नन गच्छन स्वपन श्वसन प्रलपन विसृजन गृहन उन्मिशन निमिशन नीट इन भगवान से नैव किंचित करोमी थी आई नेवर डू एनी थिंग इवन डो भगवान इज डूइंग एवरी थिंग इस आई डोंट डू एनी थिंग मीनिंग टू से देर इज नो सेंस ऑफ डूअरशिप यू रिमेंबर आई वॉज टेलिंग अबाउट अट इन प्रीवियस डेज द सेंस ऑफ डूअरशिप इज वॉट इज इम्पॉर्टेंट इन ऑल ऑफ द स्पिरिचुअलिटी है इवन दो आई एम डूइंग दैट इज लाइक यू नो यू हैव टू बी केयरफुल है when you when for example when you give you know you come and you to the to the temple and you give 20 dollars or 20000 whatever it is we ourselves should put good suggestion in people mind not 20 dollars 20000 <laughs> we should put good auto suggestion you know not uh, so eh which one When you come to the temple and you give twenty thousand dollars, right? That time you should not go back and do. I give them twenty thousand dollars, you know. I wonder what they do with that. But you give them twenty thousand dollars to put tile in the temple, right? Then you meet up your friend and they're on the road. Yeah, man, I give them twenty thousand dollars to put tile. Then that time temple looking so drabby, not or not not drabby, shabby. <laughs> drabby also. Drabi and Shabi, yeah. The temple. I give them twenty thousand. You go on announcing all about, and then when you meet somebody else, no, no. When you meet the Swami, no. Here we go, tell the Swami. I give them twenty thousand, but I don't tell nobody, you know. <laughs> really? I don't meet all of this thing, you know. But you tell the Swami. He say I don't tell. No, but that time you don't tell about twenty-five people before you come there and tell this mommy. So no, the idea is in that giving, you know, we should remember in the first place that money did not belong to me. That belonged to Bhagwan. So who really gave? Bhagwan gave, isn't it? And you taking the credit? There's a in one of these bhajans. I heard this line. See, you hear all of these nice bhajan all the time, but you don't just don't know what the meaning is. This is there in one of the bhajan. Rahim, used Rahim, the great sage Rahim, used to give, and whenever he used to give, he used to bend his head like this and give. So. Tulsidas, he asked, "But why you not bend your head and give? Give happily, na man. You should be happy to give. Yeah, to bend down your head and give." So Rahim said a nice thing, you know. He said, "Look, when I give him, right, I just be ashamed. What? But you shouldn't be ashamed to give. You should be proud to give." He said, "Yeah, when I give in, I will be ashamed to give. But why? Because when I give, I just know deep down in my mind that really this thing belongs to Bhagwan, and it is Bhagwan who given. But all the people that praise me, I just take Bhagwan praise. The praise that's supposed to go to Bhagwan, I take in that. That thing make me feel ashamed. Because I, I usurping." Snatching Bhagwan's praise, so that make me feel ashamed. So I bend my head, because all the people, ah, Rahim is such a great giver. Look how much he give, twenty thousand to the temple, and they praise in Rahim. And Rahim said, man, that make me feel so ashamed because they supposed to be praising Bhagwan, and they praising me. So therefore, I bend my head and give, like that. What a wonderful thing that he knows that he not giving. It is 
Bhagavan who is giving. So here, what is being said is, even though I am doing, I should understand that I am really not doing. It is the Lord who is doing. That's all, that is called as the absence of Kartritva Bhav, the feeling of doership. That I am an instrument in the hands of God. So Bhagavan is giving his own example. He says, he, I know na eva kinchit karomi iti yukto manyeta tattvavit. In fact, he's giving the example of the tattvavit, the realized soul. He's saying this realized soul, even though he is doing, he knows that he is not doing. He thinks, I am not the doer. Bhagwan is the doer. Huh? Doing what? Pashyan, Shrinwan, Sprishan, Jigran, all of these things. Pashyan means seeing. Shrinwan means listening. Sprishan means touching. Jigran, smelling. Ashnan, eating. Gachan, going. Swapan, sleeping. Shwasan, breathing. Pralapan, Prapan means winking. Visrajan. Giving up. Evacuating. All such. That kind of. Visrajan. Grihnan. Holding. Unmishan. Prapan doesn't mean winking. Unmishan means really. Pralapan means talking. Yap, 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 yap. Like that. Blabbering. All that kind of thing. Pralapan. Unmishan nimishan nimishan napi opening and closing of the eyes. But whatever is being done, the realized person, Tatvavita, he knows I am not doing. Bhagavan is doing everything. Indriyani Indriyarteshu Varatante Iti Dharayan. He goes back to a, a idea which he had brought up in the previous. He realizes the, see. The eyes see this yellow thing. Your side not yellow, my side yellow. The eyes see the yellow. So, the yellow affects the, the yellow color because of light affects the eyes in a certain way. That goes to the brain and the brain is affected in a certain way and there is a response inside the mind now. Like or dislike. I like yellow. I don't like yellow. Some people don't like yellow. Some people like yellow. So that affects and that like or dislike arises. And he's the only the one who is watching all that arise. He's not a doer. You see? Like that. In other words, one can become very well become a great sakshi, a witness of all the faculties functioning, the mind and intellect and everything functioning, and they are doing their work. And that is happening only by the grace of God. This is what they're being taught here. Eh? And if a person can do that. Well, then he achieves the same goal as the, the one who is sitting and meditating. He will reach God and the person who is doing this also will reach God. This is the topic which is going on. Okay. Indriyani, Indriyateshu, all the senses going among their objects and doing their thing. They are doing their work. Brahmanyadhaya karmani sangam tyaktva karotiyaha. He who renounces all his actions to Brahman. If Brahman is the reason why all things are going on like that. He doesn't take any ownership of anything. I, I'm not responsible for doing this. This thing or that thing. I, I'm not responsible for this big empire. Otherwise some people build something and they want to put their name. It's a strong sense of doership. Alright. Okay. This we'll see. Some more. Tomorrow.